Welcome to this session on the Grid Systems Manager. Column grids are used as an organizing element in any building project, and they can be used to place structural elements such as columns and beams. Grids are associated with the floors or planes set up in the Floor Manager using the Grid Systems Manager. Once a grid system is created for a project, it can be displayed in 3D models and is used to automatically create properly labeled grid lines on your drawings for floor plans, elevations, sections, and details. As noted in the previous video, the Floor Manager is used to create and edit the floors and levels of the project. For our office building, the Floor Manager has already been set up for us. So we will start by selecting the Grid Systems Manager from the same toolbar. The Grid Systems Manager is used to set the shape, size, placement, and appearance of all elements and components contained in a grid system. The dialog box has two main windows, Grid System Settings and Grid Line Settings. Under Grid System Settings, select Add Orthogonal. Left press on the Name field and rename the grid to Office Grid. Set the Start Floor to Basement Floor and the End Floor to Floor Roof Eave Level. Our office building grid will have four grid lines in the horizontal or U direction and six in the vertical or V direction. The horizontal grid lines will have numerical designations and the vertical grid lines will have alphabetical designations. In Grid Systems, Grid Line Settings, select the horizontal U tab and select Grid Line 5. Select the Remove button. For the spacing between the horizontal grid lines, select Grid 2 and set the spacing to 30 feet or 9,000 millimeters. Select Grid 3 and set the spacing to 25 feet or 7,500 millimeters. Select Grid 4 and set the spacing to 30 feet or 9,000 millimeters. Next, we will insert the minor grid between grids 2 and 3. So select Grid Line 2 and select the Duplicate button. Rename the new grid 2.5. Change the grid 2.5 spacing to 12 foot 6 or 3750 millimeters. Change the grid 3 spacing to 12 foot 6 or 3750 millimeters. Change the grid 2.5 label override to none. This means this grid line will not be labeled with a grid bubble. Also, check on the minor grid line toggle. This will change the symbology of the line based on the element template for the grid. Now we'll set up the vertical grids. Select the vertical V tab and select grid line D. Select the add button twice. Set the spacing of all the grids to 30 feet or 9,000 millimeters. Next, we'll insert the minor grid between grids C and D. Select grid line C and select the duplicate button. Rename the new grid line to C.5 and change the grid C.5 spacing to 15 feet or 4,500 millimeters. Change the grid D spacing to 15 feet or 4,500 millimeters. Again, change the grid C.5 label override to none and check on the minor grid line toggle. To finish setting up the building grid, select the OK button. Our building column grid is set up and we can now display the grid in the views. In the next session, we will use the floor selector to set the floor plane and display the grid. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.